Hi everyone, welcome back to Aidens Railways. We've had a parcel delivery today. We knew it was coming. Um, I got an email earlier from Hornby as well. You know what it is because you've seen the thumbnail. So we're going to get down onto the bench. We're going to open it up and we're going to have a good look at it. Um, it shouldn't be a long video this, but I'm quite excited about it because of what it is. Um, if you remember it in the past, earlier this year, a lot of people were commenting. Um, you may have been one of them saying I should get myself a 66 when Hornby did their announcements. Um, obviously when this one became available um, I was straight in there so if I, if I was going to get one it was going to be this one and I have so uh, let's let's get down to the bench and have a good look at it okay we're down here on the bench let's get into this box so the usual precautions of taping up everything on the front but I'd imagine there's going to be more inside okie dokie But uh, I'm just going to remove the invoice. Okay, so we've got a voucher in here. I'm going to put that to one side because we obviously don't want that code being uh, published onto the internet. But uh, there is a Big thank you and a 10% discount off any Hornby product that I use online, so uh, that's great. And in amongst all of this packaging, we have what I was looking for. <laughs> yes, let's move that box out of the way. All sealed up. It's the Thank You NHS Captain Tom Moore Class 66. Now, if you remember back in uh, January, February time, there was a lot of discussion, a lot of people asking whether or not I would get a Class 66, and I've ummed and ahed about it. And when the email notification came through from Hornby during lockdown that they were going to produce this, I decided if I'm going to get one, it's got to be this one. And I was one of the lucky ones to get in at the initial release of it. Uh, obviously since that initial release the website went ridiculously mad and they've had to extend it so it's now a limited edition of 3,500. Um, I can't remember what the original actual uh, number was but they did extend it once or twice I think now. So it's got the uh, the whole thank you NHS and it's got a, quite a bit of history or information on the back actually relating to this product. Um, there have been quite a few who have already snuck them away onto eBay. I have got my own opinions about people who have managed to purchase them and then selling them for double the price. I'll keep them to myself but I'm pretty sure you can imagine what they are. If you were going to do that I would hope, I very much doubt it, but I would hope you're actually going to put the profit that you're making it off it towards the NHS but I very much doubt it. But um, I was one of the lucky few to actually get a hold of this and what Captain Tom Moore or now Sir Tom Moore did was brilliant um, in raising huge sums of money so when this became available I thought there's been a lot of sadness during Covid and lockdown but at least this will actually should hopefully bring a bit of a smile so it's the first Class 66 I have actually managed to uh, get a hold of it's the first one I've chosen to buy and it's the reasons behind it as to why I actually bought it so uh, let's have a look inside so for me what I, this will be one of the first locomotives that I'm going to actually DCC with sound um, there's a lot that I want to do it to, but this is going to be the first that I end up doing it to. Um, what have we got here? Oh, it's even better. So I've got an admit one ticket as a thank you for buying this um, to the Hornby Visitors Centre, which is somewhere that we've been thinking about going, isn't it, Katie? Yeah. Um, we've been thinking about going to there, so we've got an admit one, so that's even better. That's brilliant. So we've got that as well. 
we've got the certificate as well the certificate for this particular one which is number 965 so it's a uh, quite a high number well actually no in comparison it's quite a it's a, quite a low number comparison to 3500 i think when i uh, put my pre-order in i think it was only about a thousand that were going to be produced at the time but we've got the certificate to go with it and then we've got the usual destructions as i call them just put that box to one side um yes and it's great because obviously i want to dcc this i'm going to i'm going to try and get a hold of the uh, tts sounded coder for uh, for this loco i feel as soon as it's the only 66 i've got and with it being the special item that it is that uh, it would certainly be worth putting sound into it uh, let's have a look we've got some additional items inside here as well mm. so what have we got it would appear we have got nameplates ah and we've got all the additional couplings airlines all that sort of thing that can be fitted to the front so it's a good detail pack in there as well so that'll be fun to put all of those pieces on this is sort of like a bit of a historic moment for me to actually own a 66 so and yes i am fully aware this isn't a bells and whistles happened one but this is for me this is quite a big thing the a first 66 that i've actually purchased so we've got the print on for captain tom moore a true british inspiration along with the gb rail freight in porterbrook we've got the funk unhs Fleet number 66731, GB Rail Freight. We've got all of the overhead wire warnings. And on this side, we have the rainbow with thank you on it as well. Absolutely wonderful. And like I said, I know this isn't a bells and whistles, Hattons model or something like that. But for me, this is absolutely wonderful. Let's have a look. Let's go around the front. And there we go, we've got the GB Rail Freight 66731 overhead warnings. You can see where all of the additional items can be placed in. And uh, obviously the NEM pocket coupling can be taken out and the plate put across as well. Same on the opposite side. I could be tempted to fit an aftermarket light kit to it. Um, but then I might not do that just because I don't want to destroy the model itself but it does look very striking in these colors and um, like i said i've never owned one i've never handled one of these before so getting my hands on one now um oh yeah, there we go we've got the traction tires not something i particularly like normally but i can live with them for this model and plenty of pickups along this bogey as well So I'll put a little bit of track out. Um, let's have a look, see what it's like it's straight out of the box. So it is really a really smooth runner. Uh, I'm, I'm liking that. I can't wait to get hold of the uh, TTS sound decoder which i'm going to get specifically just for this model and i think it's worth having it in it um just because of exactly what it represents and everything like that it's quite a special thing not just because of its thank you nhs and captain tom moore but it is the first 66 that i've ever purchased um it really does look splendid it looks lovely i really like the colors and I like what it represents. Um, obviously, we've got that. We've got the voucher with it. We've got the certificate, and we've got the admit one into uh, the Hornby Visitor Centre. So that's really quite exciting. It's going to be somewhere where 
we uh, we're definitely going to have to go there now, aren't we, Katie? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we we talked about it, but I think we're definitely going to have to go there now, and it, it gives us a good reason to go there. Um, obviously, it's not a bells and whistles model, but it is exactly what it is. It is a nice uh, interpretation of the class sixty six, uh, representing the real life item that is uh, painted up in this livery. Um, I'm really happy I managed to get a hold of one. Really happy. Um, don't forget, let me know in the comments if you've managed to get a hold of one um, or if you've ordered one from a different supplier. Um, you know, get in touch. What do you think about this model? Um, do you think it shouldn't have been limited? Do you think it should have been limited? Um, were you happy about the fact that they extended it up to 3,500 in the end? Um, it, 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 it's one of them subjects. Get in touch. Uh, you know I like your comments. I like to get in touch with you and speak to you about these things. Um, Katie loves it. That's one thing to be said. Katie loves this one. She's already said it's hers, but it's not. It's definitely mine. No, it's mine. <laughs> um, it's definitely mine. But um, obviously now I've got to look at what do I use to pull. Um, pull with. I mean, I, I need some rolling stock that befits it now. So I'm certainly going to have to have a look into that. If you've got any ideas, get in touch with me. Um, let me know what you think. Should it be containers? Um, all that sort of thing. Um, it would be interesting to to see what I'm going to end up having to buy or purchase to go with. Mm. Um, I think at the end of the week we're going to have to get some track out and I think we're going to have to have this running around along with a number of other items but I think we definitely need to get this out and stretch its, stretch its legs a bit and uh, I think it's only fitting so I think maybe for Friday we should get a, a video out there with uh, plenty of rolling on the tracks. So uh, yeah. thanks for watching Um we'll see you again soon hopefully with this running on Friday. But there's definitely going to be some more videos on the way this week, so uh, keep an eye out. And, uh, well, like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.